I'm going to share with you today just a fun little story. I call it, is it just a sandwich? And it's an experience I had about a month ago. And I was really hungry. And I'm driving around between jobs. And have you ever been really hungry? You know when you're really hungry, you make the worst decisions. So I'm driving down Pacific Street. And I'm going past 7-Eleven. I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to get one of those glistening hot dogs rolling around. Or if I go into 7-Eleven, I could get a microwave burrito or maybe one of those pre-packed sandwiches and I'll pass 7-Eleven. I'm like, darn it, I missed it. But I needed something quick. And I'm passing this little place called Rockland Mini Mart. And it's your classic Mini Mart here in Rockland. The thing about the Mini Mart, there's nobody uses any parking spots. They just pull in and you got your pickup truck. The guy gets out with his fluorescent work vest. Car's still running. He goes into the Mini Mart, comes out with whatever's there, whether it be, you know, your, your lotto, your liquor, your Fritos, your five hour energy. But I need a sandwich. I just wanted something to eat quick and I didn't see any sandwiches. They did have the glistening hot dogs though, but I made, I walked past those. I walk past the donuts, which were wrapped in cellophane. I go to the counter, I go, do you just have a sandwich? And what am I, what are you picturing when you go to a mini mart? You know, like that's gonna be made in some sort of commissary that's shipped there every day. And she says, it's right over there behind the fireball. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they do have sandwiches. So I go to the fireball but first you're walking to the fireball and they got the poster of the girl in jean cutoffs and I don't know what she's advertising there, but that's the big poster right next to the refrigerator counter with the with refrigerator with the fireball in it. And so I'm like, all right, there's a fireball and I open it up and there's the sandwiches. I'm like, oh my gosh, those look kind of handmade. And I'm at a mini mart. And they're in a little Ziploc bag. And it's got like that soft wheat bread look to it. And several layers of lettuce, but it's not iceberg lettuce, it's like fresh romaine. And and there's a generous layer of turkey in there. And a layer of maybe two layers of cheese cut at an angle and just a little bit of mayonnaise and mustard oozing up from where the cut was. And I'm like, you know what? That looks like a sandwich that my mom would make when she sent me to school in the seventh grade. I'm like this is, this is awesome. Like that's a perfect sandwich. It's not like anything you'd ever picture it in a mini mart. So then I'm greeted and the lady introduces herself. She says, hi, I'm Aang. She's the one that directed me to the sandwiches. And I said, Aang, how, how do you spell that? And she says, oh, it's like your language with an ish. And I'm like, oh, Aang, E-N-G is her name. And her husband's name was Peter. And I've since gone in there. I've probably bought 30 of these sandwiches since that event, but I've been in there a lot. So she asked me my name. I bought the sandwich and I'm like, this is gonna be great. And she said, thank you. She asked me my name. I thought, wow, this is like not something you would expect from a mini mart. And so I, I pull over, this is like, I'm not gonna eat it on the fly, which is what I was picturing. I'll grab a quick sandwich. I can drive the next job and eat while I'm driving. I said, no, this sandwich needs just to sit down and enjoy. And it was, it was perfect. So I've, I've told a lot of people about these sandwiches since I've been there. And one of them happened to be one of my landscaper friends. And he says, are you talking about the Rockland Mini Mart? I says, yeah. And he goes, that place ticks me off. And he goes, my workers are up in Loomis working on a job and they drive 20 minutes past Woody's, past the Loomis Liquor Mart, past Mr. Pickles, they go all the way to the Rockland Mini Mart 
so they can buy a sandwich. He says, now that's almost an hour of their day, plus they take an hour lunch, and it's two hours before they get back to work again. That's a great story, he said to my landscaper friend. He goes, no, it's not. I said, it is a good story because think, like people are going out of their way because something is unique, they're welcoming. Peter and Aang, the owners of the shop, always make you feel welcome. There's a sense of community when you walk in there. It's not just the guy in the pickup truck and the fluorescent vest. The next car will be a Tesla and the guy in his loafers going in to pick up a lottery ticket or whatever. It's like everybody kind of in and out at the, at the Rockland Mini Mart. But they acknowledge you. They know your name. They're appreciative that you come in. And every time I've been in since, hi, John. It's really, it's not just a sandwich. When you think about what you do in your profession, for me, I'm, I'm a window cleaner. And I think every single job that myself or our team shows up at, it's not just a window. We're trying to create, we shouldn't even have to try. We create an experience, an experience where people feel welcomed, appreciated, and deliver a great product. So whether you are a window cleaner or a realtor or a restaurant owner, are you creating that experience where people feel welcome, that there's a sense of community, that they're acknowledged by you or your crew, they feel appreciated when they leave, and that there is personal care in the product that's being presented. And, and in this case, it's a lot more than a sandwich. There's also a, a little secret code on here. Some of them have, and now I'm red green colorblind, so it's it's hard to see, but there's a, a little red pen mark on here. And that those are the ones with the jalapeno peppers on it, so you can get them with peppers or without. But that's just like mom used to make. This is an incredible sandwich. This one is ham, and I'm gonna sit down and enjoy the sandwich from the Rockland Mini Mart. It's not just a sandwich.